Let's get to this one here. Okay, which of the following genetic mutations is most likely responsible? Um, APC, STK11, SMAD4, RET, or P10? This is a 12-year-old boy brought to the clinic by his parents due to recurrent episodes of abdominal pain and bloody stools. The parents uh, mentioned that they've noticed some dark spots on his lips and the inside of his mouth. On examination, multiple brownish macules are present on the boy's lips and buccal mucosa. Um, and then the endoscopy reveals multiple hamartomatous polyps in the gastrointestinal tract. So that fits with um, Pute's Jager syndrome, I think. Mm -hmm. um, yep. So then the fun part is connecting <laughs> which gene it is. It's um trying to remember. I think it's SMAD four, but honestly, I'm not a hundred percent sure on that. I don't think it's APC because that's um a different one. So I'm gonna go with it because why not? Okay, so did I remember this? No way, right? <laughs> um, I didn't know it's P.C. Yeager syndrome, but there's no way I remember the gene. But um, yeah, so this is something you just add into the repertoire, STK11, right? Apparently it's a zero, uh, serine thionine kinase. Um, but APC, like you said, that's more the familiar adenoid polyposis, right? This is actually, at the SMAD4 is actually juvenile polyposis, RET, um, usually your MEN type twos, um, sometimes you get, you know, medullary thyroid cancer with that. And then P10, um, they usually ask this with Cowden syndrome, um, which is multiple hematomas, breast cancer, thyroid cancer, endometrial cancers, and mucocutaneous lesions. So they do ask this. I've seen this. They sometimes ask this, not so much this, and they definitely ask that. So. Yeah. Okay. 